Onload Tap Changer is a device used in transformers to regulate the voltage output by adjusting the transformer winding. It enables voltage adjustment while the transformer is energized or under load without interrupting power transmission. An OLTC typically consists of several key components. Tap Changer Mechanism This is the mechanism responsible for changing the tap position of the transformer winding. It can be either motor-driven or operated by other means such as pneumatic or hydraulic systems. Another component is selector switch is used to select the desired tap position. It is typically controlled manually or remotely. It has a reactor coils. The reactor coils in the selector switch plays a crucial role in controlling the operation of the tap changer mechanism. 1. They generate the control signals necessary to initiate tap changing operation in OLTC. These control signals are typically derived from the voltage or current levels in electrical systems and are used to trigger the tap changer mechanism to adjust the transformer's output voltage. Reactor coils also have the ability to generate electromagnetic force. When current flows through the reactor coils, they generate electromagnetic fields. These electromagnetic fields interact with the tap changer mechanism, exerting forces that move the tap changer to the desired position. Also by controlling the current flowing through the reactor coils, the selector switch can precisely control the tap changing process. Reactor coils also are used as a feedback and regulation for example by providing feedback signals to the control system of the OLTC, allowing it to monitor the tap changer's position and ensure accurate voltage regulations. We also have vacuum switch, which is responsible for making or breaking the circuit during tap changing operation. It ensures a reliable and safe switching process. A vacuum switch consists of two main components, that is contacts and a vacuum chamber. The contacts are typically made of materials such as copper or silver, and they are housed within a vacuum chamber. A vacuum chamber is sealed to create a vacuum environment. This vacuum ensures that there are no air molecules present between the contacts, which could cause arcing when the switch operates. So during operation, when the switch is closed, current flows through the contacts, allowing electrical continuity. Because the vacuum eliminates air molecules, there is no medium through which an arc can form between the contacts. The vacuum ensures that any arc that might occur is extinguished quickly. Another component of OLTC is bypass switch. This switch allows transformer to be bypassed during tap changing operations, ensuring uninterrupted power supply to the load. Also it has control system, which coordinate the operation of the tap changer mechanism, selector switch, vacuum switch, and bypass switch. It may also include sensors, relays, and controller to monitor and control the voltage and current levels. During operation, the control system receives signals indicating the need for voltage adjustment. It then activates the tap changer mechanism to change the tap position while ensuring that the transformer remains energized. It also has sensors such as voltage sensors, current sensors, position sensors, temperature sensors, and the rest. Also, if the vacuum switches are not used, We'll typically find oil filled circuit breakers, gas insulated switch gears, air blast circuit breakers, and even solid state switches. But how do we switch when no we have voltages? We have bypass switch, vacuum switch, and selector switch. At first, tap 1 is providing the voltage which are first passing through the windings of the transformer. The voltage passes through selector switch, then through the reactor coil. The vacuum switch is open and current passes through the two contacts of the bypass switch. When we want to move from tap 1 to tap 2, the bypass switch switches to the first contact, meaning no current to other contact. At the same time, we can move the selector switch, 
hence one side of the switch is not energized. Then with one side of the bypass switch is not energized, we can still move the selector switch. Then both contacts of the selector switch are in contact with tap 1 and tap 2. Now we close the vacuum switch, therefore forming a loop between coil 1, coil 2, selector contacts and vacuum switch. Now since vacuum switch closed, we can safely turn the bypass switch to the other contact, energizing the other side of the selector switch. Now we can turn the selector switch to tap 2, and then open the vacuum switch. If we still need to change to tap 3 and 4, we will follow the same process. But remember these are automated and are not complex like if we turn it manually. I have talked about the offload tap changes, watch it out. I hope you found this video informative and if you did, kindly subscribe, like and share, see you in the next one.